time. When we when we come to this subject of uh, sexual addiction, especially in this era where in recent months there's been the story of Tiger Woods, which um, he hasn't been diagnosed as being a sexual addict. We certainly find a lot of evidence today, Harry, in the in the culture of people who are sexually addicted. And you gave some statistics in your book that really were alarming, and that they alarmed me especially around how how young people at earlier and earlier age ages are getting exposed to pornography over the internet. Is this a major cause of our uh, creating sexual addicts today? I, I think it is. You know, if you go back to the old days before the internet, all the stories I ever heard were the uh, young man, uh, average age eleven, found pornography stashed in his father's house, meaning that his father had the magazines and brought him into the house. Well, that's kind of like the Stone Age today. You look at the Internet, and what you have is access uh, from a cell phone to a computer, desktop, laptop, anywhere, anytime, anyplace, wireless Internet connection. And so children are really, really getting exposed. Uh, I think we're going to see the average age 11 drop dramatically. Uh, One statistic that I mentioned in the book is 90% of 8 to 16-year-olds have already viewed pornography on the Internet and so that accidental exposure, which it is a pop-up, is like the accidental exposure f- discovering it in your father's basement. But now you have a whole different technology and access that just I don't think we can get our mind wrapped around. And what?